Oh, hi there. So my SU-25 nuke video has been absolutely going to the moon, which is just insane. Super, it, it's awesome, honestly. Anyways, a lot of comments have been wondering how I'm doing the targeting with the laser guided munitions. And so I thought I would do a very quick tutorial video uh, just in a test flight. And so first things first, we're going to hop into controls in the aircraft section. You can just go ahead and search for a point. And we're looking for activate target point right here. And I have a 12 button mouse, uh, like it has a numpad on the side. So that's why I'm using num nine. So, you know, just set this to whatever button feels best for you while you're doing cast runs, whatever you can reach the easiest. And the next thing is just search for missile and it's fire air to ground missile. Fire button for this is left control space. It's also my throttle down key. It's whatever. I'm usually throttling down anyways while I'm launching air to ground missiles. So anyways, once you have those two controls set, you can go ahead and get in your aircraft of choice that is mounted with laser guided munitions and get in the air and point in the ground. All right, now we're in the air. We got some targets on the move down here. Medium tank and this SPAA. I think it's an ADATS. I'm going to go for the ADATS. Drop in speed. Deploying brakes, pressing my activate target point key, pressing my fire air to ground missile key one time to turn on the laser seeker and then pressing it again. And that'll send the missile out and we're updating the target. That looks good. Direct hit. Sweet. And so that is literally it. That is how I was guiding the missiles in my SU-25 video. So the other cool thing you can do with this setup is set up for an attack run again. We're going to go ahead and and then hit your target point. That looks good. Spool up the seeker, send it away, and then you can just turn off of the flight path. And it goes straight to the point. Now, I'm honestly expecting this to be unintended or be a bug because when you use the actual camera, it has a pretty hard um, limit uh, for the gimbal. So you actually can't keep a lock if you're using just the camera. So if you're doing casts with laser guided missiles and you don't have good zoom, you might as well just do the third person aiming like this. And here we go. Let's do another one here. Set the target, spool up the laser, send the missile and turn away. No problem. And let's just cap it off here with a nasty R6CM shot. Here you go. Go get him. Oh god, those things are ridiculous. Alright, and so that concludes my little tutorial. And so if you enjoyed the video and maybe learned a little bit, don't forget to show some love. I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.